Happy Monday, my little whipper mather. Sorry there's so much glare on my face. Can't help it. Sorry about my ugly ponytail. Can't help it. Oh, I can't help it, but who cares, right? Um, we are going to be starting geometry, which is really exciting. I'm going to give you some cheat sheets to help refresh your memory about some of the vocabulary, like all those different polygons. So remember, a polygon has to have straight sides, and it has to be a closed figure. And we'll distinguish like the different types of quadrilaterals. For example, if you have two sets of parallel lines, it would be a parallelogram. And if you had only one set, it would be a trapezoid. And in that same subset of parallelograms, if you had right angles, it would be a rectangle. And if you had all sides congruent, it would be a rhombus. And if you had all of those things, it would be a square. So this is what's kind of funny is a square is a rectangle, is a rhombus, is a parallelogram, is a quadrilateral, is a polygon, and that can be a little confusing. And so I'll also give you a little cheat sheet that's like more table style that tells you the number of sides and angles and reminds you what the name of that shape might be, as well as providing you some picture examples. Now one thing that's kind of funny is that some kids think that all polygons have to have sides that are the same length because we're used to seeing it that way. But a lot of polygons are irregular, meaning they have non-congruent sides and angles, but they're still called their name depending on what, however many sides it has. So that's a little bit funky. And so because I know that this is so much vocabulary, I have added on your interactive image a little notebook icon, and that is going to have all the vocabulary and diagrams you could ever hope to find. So if you're working on PMP or you're in class and you just forget something and you want to look it up real quick, you can pop on to that icon. And I'm also going to provide paper packets of that same information in class for you to use. And then last but not least, to make it a little more deep and less boring than just vocabulary, we're going to start learning about some really cool facts about um, angle measures, angle sums in triangles and quadrilaterals. And in fact, we're going to do some cutting and some ripping and some rearranging to prove some of these theories about the mystery number that you get if you add all the angles up in a three-sided or four-sided shape. And then we're going to use that same information to figure out how what our angle sum would be for our other polygons that we haven't explored, like pentagons and hexagons, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be fun. So I'm really glad that we are into geometry now. It's a super hands-on unit. We'll use the geo boards. Um, it should be a lot of fun stuff. So. Let's go.